my God, I seriously thought it was Thursday, then I thought it was Wednesday, but it's only Tuesday. That maybe shows you where my head is. Shall we start again? Hello, welcome to Tuesday. <laughs> and that really is, that's terrible. Um, thank God we have this meditation now because I can uh, get my head on straight after my day. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that. I can see being off by one day, but two days and then thinking that it was Wednesday? Anyway, let's get, let's get to our, uh, our meditation for today. <clears throat> I know I realize my clothes are very New Englandy, but uh, maybe I'm feeling nostalgic for my home. Yesterday, we looked at one aspect of the Torah portion, Nitzavim, which was, you know, all we have, all we need, we have right here and right here and right here. That what we're doing isn't far for us. We don't need anything else except us to do this. You don't need an app. Don't need me. You can do this on your own. I can do it on my own. The nice part is to do it together. So as much as we say, you know, it's very close to us and it's right in our hearts and that's all we need, there's something nice about coming together on these days at 5.30 to 6 and knowing that we're all doing the same thing and we're all kind of concentrating on stillness and peace and tranquility and getting our minds to slow down just a little bit from the thoughts that, uh, that come into them that distract us from what we need to be doing. The, the other section that I wanted to bring up today, besides that section of that you have everything that you need, is we, we looked at this a couple of weeks ago because it's the first line in the Torah portion where eh, and it's almost the exact same line. God says, look, I put before you blessing. I put before you curse. I put before you life and I put before you death. Choose life that things may go well for you. It is um, something that I've believed in for a long time. And that is, if we have a choice between the positive and the negative, let's try to go for the positive. I don't always live my life this way. I aspire to it. I guess I'm in practice for that. Because, you know, I find it very easy to go down the negative slope of thought. It's a lot warmer out than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's very easy to go down that negative slope. There isn't much to take us off of our lives and put us into a feeling of melancholy or the trance of unworthiness um, that I've talked about before from Tara Brock. And this is saying, you know what, Jerry, there's going to be good days, there's going to be bad days, right? You know what, Gilad? before you all the time there's you can do the right thing or you can do the other thing let's choose the right thing Judy it's in front of us so if we incline ourselves towards life if we incline ourselves towards the positive if we incline ourselves towards pursuing life and choosing life and I think that's the important part here so much of the time we go through our lives and things happen to us, we have reactions to them. A lot of times our reactions are without thinking and we might head towards a negative direction. When it says choose life, it means we have to make a conscious effort, practice and choice to be positive to choose life over death, blessing over curse, goodness over 
evil. Not that the things that we do are necessarily evil, but <clears throat> it's the choice to live our lives with goodness that becomes important here. The other side of it is that we've got both of, this, both of these uh, aspects in our personalities and in our lives. We are both good and bad. We carry inside of ourselves the potential to be so positive and so uplifted and uplifting or to be downtrodden, to be negative, to be angry. One of the things that the pandemic, I feel, has done to me is I find myself um, holding on to my anger. Not holding on to it for a long time, but if something makes me feel angry in any way, I, I just I keep that feeling in me um, longer than I used to. And so I've been trying to make a conscious effort to notice why, why is this making me angry? Why am I kind of treating this person or that person curtly? Why am I doing that? Um, to notice it and then to say, you know, I can turn that around and I can smile a little bit more or I can be a little more kinder to the people that I'm talking to or I can just allow that fuse to be a little bit longer and then a little longer and then a little longer. And perhaps that's the way we can overcome it is to notice and then switch it, turn it. That's our teaching for today. God puts before us blessing and life, curses and death. Choose life so that our lives may go well for us. That's a very simple yet difficult message to carry forward every day. So make yourselves comfortable in the position that you like. I will let you know. First of all, it's nice to be outside again, although I did like it in my office and my dog is sitting at my feet and enjoying himself too. I'm, I've asked him to meditate, but uh, I'm not sure if he will. <laughs> so we're going to, uh, let's go quiet. And then um, as we get towards the end of the last five minutes or so, we'll start to invite the feelings of uh, blessings and safety. We're going to get ourselves ready, however it is that you prepare yourself. Just breathing normally. Not trying to fix our breath, not trying to control it. Just seeing what it naturally does. And whatever we're feeling, whatever's been happening, we just allow things to be just as they are for now. No need to get upset about anything. We're just being. We're just moving to that animal place where we exist in a non-judgmental way with ourselves. And as your thoughts creep in, as they will, to take you away from concentrating on your breath. In kindness, bring yourself back. Right now, this is what we're doing. And by the way, we're doing this to choose life. 
go inside for a moment so that we can come back out into the world with that goodness and blessing inside of us.
As we approach the last four or five minutes of our meditation, I invite all of us to ask for certain feelings. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and right now I'm very well aware it's Tuesday, we divide our priestly benediction into three sections, and the first section is today. May I feel blessed. May I feel safe, blessed by everything we have, safe from everything that could hurt us. May I feel blessed. May I feel safe. May I feel blessed and safe. And with each breath, just offer, your, offer yourselves one of these feelings. May I feel blessed. May I feel safe. Because the fact is, we are all blessed. But to feel that blessing is something different. And we are relatively safe. But to feel safety in our homes, to feel safe when we leave our home, is a feeling we desire and need. May I feel safe. May I feel blessed. May I feel blessed and safe. Offer yourself these feelings for several breaths. If you'd like, you can invite someone to be with you. You can offer them. May you feel blessed. May you feel safe. May you feel blessed and safe. And offer that to someone you love someone you like, someone you're having difficulty with, whoever it is that you invited to be before you today. May you feel blessed. May you feel safe. May you feel blessed and Let's bring it back to ourselves. May I feel safe. May I feel blessed. And let's feel that through several breaths. As we only have a few moments left, let's just dig down into our breath once again. Just notice your body. Notice what your breath does as it enters your body and how it leaves. Let's concentrate on that for a little bit.
Thank you for joining me today. I feel like I really needed that. I hope you feel blessed and may you feel safe. Have a beautiful evening. <laughs>